Hello, Mr. B. Fly away. Goodbye. Hello, everyone. Today we are talking about bees, wasps, and hornets. Now, why are bees so important? This is a good thing for us to learn. Bees are important to the pollination process which helps fruits, vegetables, and plants to grow. When bees gather nectar from flowers to eat, little pieces of pollen stick to their legs. The bees then fly to the next flower where some of the pollen falls onto the new flower. This is called pollination and helps the flowers to reproduce. Bees pollinate all kinds of flowers, plants, vegetables and fruits. And without this, plants would not be able to grow and multiply. A lot of the plants that bees pollinate are those that humans need to survive. How interesting! So, what makes a bee, a wasp, and a hornet? The reason why I'm doing this lesson is because I was in a class last year and there were lots of bees outside on the beautiful trees and flowers. And I got started talking about the bees. And then we started talking about wasps and we started talking about hornets. And rather than doing the lesson we already had planned, we talked about this for probably a whole hour. But I think we all learned so much information. So, I thought I'd pass on this information to you guys. So, what makes a bee, a wasp, and a hornet? Bees, wasps, and hornets are all a type of insect that lives in hives and can fly. They are all made up of three parts called the head, thorax, and abdomen. Each of these insects have stingers and use them in self-defense against other animals when they are threatened. They are all made up of the colors black, yellow, orange, and white. Let's look even closer into what bees are. Bees are black and orange or yellow and have full fuzzy bodies. They are often round with wide flat legs. Bees only consume pollen and nectar from plants and this is how they create honey. When a bee stings you in self-defense, they lose their stinger and die. Now, as you can see from this little picture, bees look quite cute and fluffy. My papa used to actually be brave enough that he'd go and pick them up and pet them as if he was patting a cat or a dog. I always thought he was so brave. I was way too scared to do that. All right, let's look at wasps. Wasps are bright yellow and black and are often very aggressive. They have round waxy legs that stick out. Wasps have thin midsections. Wasps are predators and prey on other insects for their food. A wasp can sting over and over again. So wasps are probably a lot meaner than bees and the fact that they can keep stinging is not a very helpful thing for us. All right, let's look at hornets. Hornets are a type of wasp, but are often brownish red and golden. Unlike wasps, they have rounder midsections. Hornets feed on live insects. They are considered social insects. Each hornet can sting a couple of times. So again, different to the bees, hornets can sting more than once. Okay, I'm gonna go on an adventure around the garden to see if I can find some friendly bees. I know that they love plants and they especially love flowers. So let's go have a snoopy look around to find some bees. I can see some flowers here. I can't see any bees. There's some more flowers here. Let's have a look. Hello. No bees there. Should we have a look up here? Hmm. No. Where are they hiding? I wonder if they'll be in the hibiscus flowers. These are some of my absolute favorite flowers. Hello. Mr. Bees. No, they're just beautiful to look at. Let's keep looking. I seem to have hit the jackpot and I've found hundreds of bees here in this rosemary bush. They seem to love all these little blue flowers. I wonder what they're thinking. And I wonder if you have any bees near where you live. Hi bees. Just by looking at the pictures and hearing the different facts about the bees, wasps and hornets, I've already been able to find things that they have similar and also things that are quite different between them. I wonder if you guys have spotted any differences. 
And I'm saying that because that's where your activity is going to be. As you can see on the table over here, you are going to be able to draw up this table and show all the differences that you can hear from what I've said or anything that you could read. Maybe you've got books at home or maybe you could do some research about bees, wasps and hornets and you can put it on this table in the different columns about all the different facts you can find about the three creatures. So you're going to be looking at what the differences are because we can already tell what some of the similarities are but there are lots of differences that you will be able to find as well. When you have drawn up this different table or you can use it as a writing plan you are going to become scientists and you're going to be writing a scientific report. You're going to be writing this all about what you've learned about bees, wasps and hornets and because you're going to be scientists writing these scientific reports you're going to be able to deliver these reports to your family members and tell them about all the things that you have learned today. So I hope that you have a wonderful time with that. Be kind to your family members, be nice, and we can learn lots of things from these creatures. Now remember, I've got lots of other videos that you can learn from to help you with your distance learning or learning from home, and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye! Bzzz.